Greetings and welcome back everyone to AAA Factorio with myself, Arumba and Asty Joe. In this episode, everyone else is going to be productive and I'm going to start being productive. Hurrah! Hey there, how you doing, AVAC? It's been think, a day. I think you're telling lies. Yeah, I, I'm not telling lies. You might turn it into lies if you get in my way, maybe, but... <laughs> I have every intent of being productive today. It's going to be fine. So Asty Joe is going to actually complete this little design, or are you just... Gonna look yeah, at no, it. I'm gonna I'm gonna place absolutely everything down. Have okay. we got a dump chest, by the way, for all of the random crap we've accumulated over time and have no intention to use? I don't think so. Unless Steve okay. put one. I'll make a dump chest over by the uh, power plant then. Don't need these burners at all. All these furnaces. Well, I'm gonna go and see if I can't improve iron ore. A bit. It looks like we we could actually have more coming in if the belt was fully loaded, because not all these are mining properly. I'm actually just going to double up the are line. You sure. Yeah. Oh the, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After. Yeah. I'm going to do a double rather than do uh, the red belt. We'll just have double. Yeah, sure. It's actually got better throughput. Yeah, that does. No arguments here. We don't even have uh, red belt yet. Well, we should probably fix that. Let's do yep, that. Let's on now. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I can't, uh... Mm -hmm. I can't research... Oh, it's already selected. You've already started it. Okay. Yeah, that was too quick <laughs> for you. That's the I, was like, I was like clicking on it like, research. This is, there's no research button. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to need loads of iron to make all of these tanks. You're making tanks? How many tanks? <sighs> Storage tanks, not 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 shooting tanks. Oh, well, that's sad. <laughs> I know, I know. It, if only we had real tanks. Oh my lord, the lack of iron. It's gonna get even worse now because I just stole a mineral. Hmm. We are gonna need much more room for proper oil refinery, though. The little bit of room that we've got to the left of the. Uh, the steam engine's really not enough. I mean, perhaps we could go a little bit high. Go above the steam engines, perhaps? Oh, uh, yeah, I, sp I suppose I could do We could have a an actual oil buffer here, and then the refining above the steam engines moving to the right. No one here marked that for any expansions, I take it? Uh, say it again. Oh. Above where to where? Above the steam engines and moving out to the right. So above basically, the, uh, above where you've got this mountain. Uh, no, the the only thing I was considering putting up there would maybe be to double up the copper furnace um, assembly thing. Uh, that should be fine. That, but other than I'm that, I'm not going to be that close. There'll probably mm -hmm. still be plenty of room for that. I'm going to go ahead and set up the uh, the iron that's going to steel to just be at 25 percent instead of 50, because okay. we're we have. Way more steel than we really need right now. Although, if you're making a bunch of steel, whatever they're called, then maybe that's not true. Also, how is uh, how's base defense looking? Well, base keeps changing shape, but uh, we've got very minimal base defense at the moment. Got enough up by the iron that's holding fine. Honestly, I imagine the bite is from the south. We're probably going to need another um, couple of guns down there just to protect against the biters from the south east. And from the west, we... Ooh, actually, yeah, the pollution is starting to hit them. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if we're going to need to start worrying about them for a little while. Stijo, are you just too focused? You're not... Yeah, hyper-focused. I'm almost done. That'd be good, because we uh, we got logistics too, so we can actually make some of these things. Uh, I'm going to go straight for like engine and like maybe head towards trains. So that we can... Because even after I increase the amount of iron coming in, I think we're going to need more iron mines. Okay. Let's 
I'll start with just a, a couple of pumps until I've got the uh, actual refinery in the area that I want, and then I'll start uh, increasing the buffer for the oil that we've got. It'll just be small scale for now. You know, this huge forest over here by the copper is probably going to be fine for us in terms of uh, driving the biters down around the forest and up. Because it's a really thick forest, I'm not sure if they'd be able to power through it. Oh, they'll make it through. <laughs> Nature will find a way, eh? Well, I think I'm pretty much finished with laying it out, at least. Did you get your uh, get get it right? You remember exactly how to do it? Because that's my problem. I forgot. You know, you play, you stop playing the game for a while. You just forget. Uh, well, it's not it's not super difficult. This one, um, it just looks super difficult. Yeah, it's just remembering what goes on what belt, which is the difficult part. <laughs> Getting used to playing on multiplayer again is also tricky. Mm -hmm. Like trying to disassemble yeah, stuff. Yeah, I've just sat and recorded for my, my single player and then coming to this is just insane. Did you read about the, the developer diary thing where they were talking about how they're going to be doing uh, the potential for a standalone like server? Oh, right. Ooh, about time. <laughs> yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that changes the, the game. Actually using that. I'd probably be able I mean I think my computer could probably handle hosting and playing you know I think most computers probably could yeah yeah well if it's a standalone server you just stick on a machine that isn't going to be playing exactly yeah, it could work too it's usually what my Linux machine ends up doing is running servers I think we're done Damn it, steel. The only thing that I would like to have now would be um, the next level of electrical energy distribution so we can get substations, but that's blue science. Ah, uh, very nice work over there. That was a really, really tight, efficient factory for all of the different belts, splitters, and tunnels. That really good idea. But don't look at me, it's something that someone showed me on Reddit. <laughs> so you're saying you're a thief? I think that is exactly what he just said, yeah. That's what I heard, anyway. Oh, I Steel thought that's Joe. why he called me Steel Joe. <laughs> uh, I didn't call you that. Somebody in the comments called you that. Well, that was, that was what Shen used to call me in the last series as well. Was Basically really? because he couldn't say Steel Joe. Why couldn't he say Steel Joe? Hmm. Okay, looking at the iron deposit that we have up here, it looks like it's at absolute peak efficiency. Belts are not fully loaded. That means we just need more iron. Yeah. Are there any good iron deposits? Well, actually, yeah, there's a couple up in the direction of the biter base we took out earlier, up in the, the uh, northeast. There's a small one there, while it's bigger than the one we're, that we're currently using. So that would probably be enough to double our, our current um, draw at the very least. And there's one above it to the north as well. And more copper as well, so it's probably worth expanding up there that way regardless. Well, trains. Trains, Indeed. trains, trains. That's what we need. Well, look at the technology. I can see. I, I see you're working on that. I'm going to see if I can maybe put together a spot that will make some of our train materials, like, uh, you know, all the stuff. You're going to keep on worrying about research, or should I queue it up? Go ahead and queue um, it up. Yeah, I'll just, well. Sorry, it's kind of obvious the next one, so I'll go with that. Okay, sure. <laughs> well, yeah. All right, so we can make the rail. We can make the locomotive. We need engine units. Let me get those started. 
So oh, this big line of science upsets me. Yeah, it's a lot of red beakers. That's definitely true. I'm I don't just know. Make my life easier a little bit down here and set up um, pipe. Now that we uh, now that we have less iron going to the steel production, I almost mm -hmm. feel like the science setup that Seizure had was more than sufficient. Like the second one that I made in the last video is probably completely unnecessary. That's nice though. We'll grow into it. Well, we have eleven science buildings, which is kind oh, of a yeah. silly number. Oh dear. <laughs> Indeed. We should, uh, probably, that was funny. we should probably get some better ammo. Or just move some... Um, get some guns down here as well. Okay. You do that. <laughs> <laughs> right, I need to set this up so that the proper things are getting shoved in there. Ah, damn it. I haven't played this in so long that I'm constantly getting left and right click confused. And so as a result, I'm breaking things down all the time. When I mean to just add, uh, open up the inventory. I'm thinking, um, you, you were talking about doing oil near the mm -hmm. copper, like above us. Is that still your plan? Um, not right near it, but yeah, going going in that direction. Why are you wanting me to get a little bit closer up to the copper there so that we can merge the expansions? No, I'm I'm just thinking I'm gonna put together one more furnace uh, assembly or furnace. What would what, what would you call it? Furnace um, column, I guess, is really. Well, it's it more of a rule. It, it's horizontal, but yeah, it's still a column, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do one more, just because um, we don't have any stone, like brick making, right. and and it's yeah. just, it's so easy with this furnace, like column, whatever you call it, to change its production, just change the input. That's it, you know. Yeah, sure. So I think I'd like I'd like one to make bricks, and uh, I don't know. Gives me something to do. Oh, you feeling a little bit surplus to requirements? No, I just I don't know. I don't know what else to do right now. Um, we need rail. We need trains. That's kind of Stejo's ballpark. Oh, well, why don't you make it yours? Well, Stejo loves trains. I like trains too, but I want to let Stejo handle it. You like them less than Steve Joe, so you are selflessly <laughs> sacrificing your enjoyment so that Steve Joe can have his. Ah, what a martyr to the cause. Alright, so we're getting kind of low on things we can do with just green and red science. There we go. That'll eventually back up. We'll have a stack of... Uh, actually, do we need a stack of ground pipe? I don't think we do, thinking about it. That's just lazy. The height of laziness, in fact. No, sounds good. Really? Oh, all right then. Oh yeah, one stack? Yeah. Go through that really quick. Yeah, that's true, actually. Especially once you start really dealing with a, a large refinery complex. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll leave that down there for now. Uh, you know what? Okay, fine. I'll quickly set up another gun base. See, I'm not calling it fire base now because these guys have a wobbly every time I do. Even that's what it is. You just... Base full of guns to support the infantry. That's what a fire base is. That's the actual word for what it is. I, I yeah, think it's not on fire. You just like the word fire. You think fire makes it sound cool, but... Mm. These, these, it just these makes peasants you sound like a dog. not using the right words for things. <sighs> I bet they're the kinds of people who call remote doodahs and what's it. <laughs> Don't be so silly, it's a doohickey. Oh, I apologize. A whatchamacallit? I remember somebody called them the buttons. They just call a it. Doofle doofle. 
They just call it the buttons. Give me the there, buttons. There is a little part of me that actually does kind of find that endearing in a way. It's like, yeah, you're calling it what it does. There's a certain logic to this. But at the same time, it has a name. <laughs> Why do you refuse to use its name? It has a name. Use it. Indeed. It's not that I mind it that much. It, it, it all honestly, but one of the reasons why it gets on my nerves is the, the people who will often have those silly little baby words are the ones who got pissed off the most at their kids when they would call something by a baby word when they were growing up. They would teach them, oh yeah, it's, it's not a duck, it's a quack quack, oh, it's not a bunny, it's a hop hop or something like that. And then all of a sudden, when, they, when they're like, you know, seven or eight, they use that word, they you stupid little shit, it's a rabbit slap. It's like, what? <laughs> You taught it to talk that way, you know? Oh my god. Makes my brain hurt. Uh oh. Avex brain's hurting already. Not again. <sighs> uh two two times in one week. I mean that's that's a lot. Oh, so actually, we're I suffer with chronic migraines, that's not a lot. We're set up. Unfortunately it's taken a bit more room, but Is that your official response? Yeah. It actually is. I don't know. Why is why is the iron getting side loaded here? Where? Hmm. I smell avac. Yeah. You wouldn't. You would never assume that I would do something silly like that, right? I literally yeah, exactly. mirrored what was done over here. Who set this up then? Ah, that was me. But this is getting side loaded because we've got iron gears coming on the other side. Oh right. Okay. So, I literally just set it up that way because people uh, and, and like, Oh, I'm like, you've done this wrong! Oh, well, fine, I'll that's, do that's that. it. I'll set it up like Studio Done, that way I can't get into trouble. Yeah, <laughs> oh, how much. wrong you were. <laughs> Steve! God damn it. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Hmm, now we definitely need more iron. Iron! Also, your, uh, your science has been cut off. Okay. Are you going to redirect it or just shut that whole thing down? Uh, I reckon we should just shut it down. Yeah. I don't think we need that much. I mean, And we're storing way too much material on that belt. Like you said earlier, the, the amount of science packs on there is oh dear. It's too much. <laughs> we're under attack, but it's not my problem. No, it's not. It's a bloody stupid... So you... ah, it's That's my the fire fault. Base. Oh, I was shooting at it and I was like, why are the bullets not killing the bad things? Oh, wait, it's because I'm shooting a bloody electric pole. Um, <laughs> one of those days, I'm afraid. Well, we have uh, quite a few walls up here. Do we still want these walls? Well, by quite a few, yeah, I mean like 70. Not very many. It would probably help a lot if I was using my uh, assault rifle instead of the shotgun as well. I'm not a big fan of the uh, the regular no. shotgun. No, I'm not really either anymore. Well, it works pretty well for single bases, but does yeah. fall off pretty quick. This is probably going to take me the entire episode just to decommission this. Yeah, I don't know. We spent like a whole episode doing that. And now we're just taking them all apart. It's kind of silly, don't you think? Well, that's factorial. It is, more or less. Yeah. Build, build it so you can take it apart? Yeah. Or in a Roomba's case, just start a new series. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Ouch. Uh, even with robots, I, I, I don't know why. This is the type of game I just really enjoy the progression the build up from the beginning and then when it gets starts to get too complicated it's like well let's just start over <laughs> yeah it's i i get that way when you get to purple science it's like well I pretty much won the game yeah i could go for another game of factorio though <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's play again We need robots. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Feel free, make them. so that your subscribers can shout at you for being lazy? No, it's because it takes like three times as long to do anything on multiplayer. Oh, yeah, I suppose. 
suppose. Okay, so you're not going to be upset if I run this stone this way, are you? Nope. Oh gosh, that robot is so... He's very insistent. He is. He is <laughs> I said we insistent. needed robots, but jeez. Okay, right. well. Didn't really get what I was planning to do done in this one, but at least I've set up some pipe manufacture and a second defense base that should be able to absorb most of the biter attacks for now. Yeah, defense base. Yeah. You seeing? yeah, is that better? <laughs> no longer a fire base? <laughs> no. What, what it's, happened? It's not on fire. Why can't you? I mean, it's someone, still, someone put it out. It's a technical term, firebase. I mean, you can call it that. That's true. Uh, I, I could. I, I could call it a firebase. I could also shoot you with a shotgun, though. You did that already. Yeah, it, it was really fun, though. It wasn't funny, though. It was fun. It doesn't need to be funny. Yes. Well, till tomorrow, then, yeah? <laughs> Indeed. Where we will discover if a rumor is still alive. Take care. All right. All right see you tomorrow. Bye bye.